welcome to Hands on Science, where if you ever just need something to do, this is the place to be. This is Car. And this is Mel. Mel, are you ready for something to do today? I sure am. All right. All right, but before we start, gotta make sure we always ask for permission from an adult, especially when we're using supplies. Got it. Very important to ask for permission for this activity because we're gonna be using some supplies that you may have in your kitchen or even your garage. The first thing that you're gonna need is gonna be a funnel. Funnel? So you may have a funnel that looks like one of these. Any funnel will work. Um, today though, for our activity, we're going to be using this. Oh, What does that look like, Mel? That looks like the top of a bottle. That is exactly what that is. So the reason we're using this, it kind of looks like a funnel, um, is we wanted it to be clear so you can see what's going on inside. So we're going to use this as our funnel. Okay. The next thing that we're going to need is a ping pong ball. I've got a little cup here, okay. just so the ping pong ball doesn't roll away. Right. And the last thing we're going to need is a bit uh, of tubing like this. Again, we're using clear so you can see there's no tricks um, or anything involved. So okay. the first thing that we're going to do, Mel, is I'm going to ask you to hold on to this ping pong ball. Okay. And I want you to kind of guess, how heavy do you think that ping pong ball is? Is it very uh, heavy at all? It's not even heavy. It's really, really light. Like really light. You, yeah. you know you're holding something, but it's not weighing you down, right? Right. Okay, so I'm going to take your ping pong ball. Okay. And I'm going to give you one end of this tubing, and I'm going to hold the other end here. Okay. And what I am going to do is I'm going to balance this ball onto the end of the tubing. Okay. Okay. Now your job on your end of the tubing is to blow through the tube and try and blow that ping pong ball off of the end of the tube. Ooh, okay, so blow through here. Yep, right? blow through your end okay. of the tube just to knock that ping pong ball off. Was that a hard task? Um, a little. A little hard, but you were still able to yes. accomplish it, right? Yes. Okay, so okay. here's the next step. We're going to take our makeshift soda bottle funnel and I'm going to push it onto the end of this tube. Okay. Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to take the ping pong ball and I'm going to put it into our makeshift funnel. Oh. Now, you are able to take the ping pong ball and blow through the tube and blow it off the end of the tube. Yes. Do you think you can blow it out of the funnel? I can try. I think you should try. All right, let's try. That was a pretty good try. Try one more time for me. I tell you what, Mel, how about I try? Okay? I'm gonna All give it a try. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna huff and puff and blow this ping pong ball out of this okay. funnel. Okay, ready? Alright. One, two. Oh. Oh. Well, Mel, I have a confession to make. I actually kinda tricked you. Uh-oh. So what happens here is if you have you been in an airplane? Yes. Every, a lot of people have been in an airplane. So similarly to how airplanes create lift when they mm -hmm. take off mm -hmm. is what's happening in here. Ah. The air that we're blowing under the ping pong ball is mm -hmm. creating this fast moving air under it. And so what happens is that fast moving air doesn't have enough pressure to push the ball up. Oh. Now, everywhere we go, there's air above us and that air pushes down on us. So that fast moving air from the bottom can't seem to overcome that heavy pushing oh, air from the top. That's what's been happening. That's why we <gasps> can't blow the ping pong ball out oh, of the funnel. Okay. So Mel, I think I tricked you a little oh, bit, okay. but you're a really good sport and I hope you enjoyed this activity. Guys, if you're watching and you enjoy this activity, please make sure to give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. You can check out this video and much more at midnightscienceclub.com. We hope to see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.